Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Karo Hono no Koku in episode number 23 uh, and 24 reaction. Alright, uh, these two are the final episodes and uh, I do know that this has a sequel as a movie I think. So let me let me know in the comment section if I should react to that. Uh, like you know, otherwise I'll watch that on my own. So let me know, you know, like if uh, like you know if uh, like enough people want me to react to it, I will react to it next week in the same time, and then I'm going to replace this with another different anime, which I have already made plans about. Uh, it's Psyche Kuso. I'm going to start watching that. Uh, so let me know, you know, like uh, if people want me to react to the movie, I'll react to that next week, and the other anime will be on hold. But yeah, for this show in itself, this is the final two episodes. So yeah, let's see how this ends. And um, okay, the previous two episodes, uh, we actually get to know what uh, the Watchdog Center and what Herman has been planning. Uh, their plans were kind of different from each other. Uh, the Watchdog Center was planning to, you know, uh, for Mendoza to break the seal, you know, revive the anima i think they called it and uh, a lot of horse will come out bunch together in one place and they're going to destroy it and like you know wipe them all out that'll like you know result in a lot of human casualty but the watchdog center thinks like this is the better way to destroy all the horrors because this is like you know they're sacrificing a few to save many and that was like gom's what gom told us which obviously leon and all the others were not happy with uh, Herman was also it, it at the beginning like, you know, he acted as if that was what he also wanted but then we got a little bit of flashback we saw Herman's perspective on saving people and everything and we got to like you know, we realized that yeah he's not the type of a person who would sacrifice few to save many he's going to sacrifice he's going to save save everyone so uh, and the, the the following episode after that we, we had like a father-son battle as well and the following episode after that uh, we got to see what his actual plan is his plan is to um like you know pave the way for uh, leon uh, alphonse and emma to come in he, he was there to like you know uh, like keep the door open and uh, let them come in so that they can defeat mendoza then and there which was obviously like you know mendoza tried to kill him before that and he, he he fought very you know like you know heroically uh, unfortunately he is very injured um octavia has become a horror you could say and uh, she is going to fight leon and alfonso and emma as well while herman is in front of herman there's like a lot of other horrors so this is a complete you know like going in a bad direction uh, I'm not concerned about Leon. I'm sure he can handle him. But the one who's, who I'm concerned about is Herman because he I don't think he can fight anymore. So uh, let's see what happens in this episode. And uh, yeah, let's get started. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is a preference. And let's start. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god. Okay, so... Leon can handle himself, but I'm concerned about Herman. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is Himena, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh no. Yeah, everyone's just freaked out. Uh, 
Okay. Oh no, where's she going? What? Where's Octavia? Oh, there he, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well. Hmm. Doom. Doom. Okay. Oh boy. Oh my god. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah wait he did suspect her but yeah but he was still not sure about it oh damn the is like yeah All right, let's see how strong she is. Oh my god. What the? Oh, wait, she just... Okay. Oh, nice. Damn. Um, Maju armor feeds off the hatred of um, here we go, yeah, it's completely transforming. Um, all right. Okay, well, um, I uh, okay. What happened to Leon? Where is he? Oh my! Okay, Alfonso just. Oh. Okay.
Okay. Well, yep, she's going to fight her. Uh, Leon, uh, um, what's Alphonse is also there, isn't he? All right, your dad needs help. Okay. Yep, there you go. They're fighting. Oh god. Yo, he just she just beat the armor out of him. Oh. Who did this? Emma? Oh. Ah, wait. <laughs> okay. Wow, it's like green flame. Wasn't he just down? Like, Oh my god, Mendoza. Alright, where is Herman? Below my feet. Oh, the anima or whatever it's called? No, whoa! Oh my god, what the hell? Wait, what is How did that happen? Oh my god. Wait, what the Oh, is that the Turned him into that thing. Wait, so is he alive? Is he sealed? Is he dead? What's happening? It seems like he, he's like encased in like a... Oh boy. <laughs> oh! Nice. Whoa, what happened? What? What the hell happened? Oh my, yo. She's out. Oh my god, you, um... Please go back, okay, what the hell? That is his, da oh god. Oh my god, that's what Emma said. Emma said, like, don't lose yourself. Like, Mendoza's again trying to get in his head. Oh my god. 
I think he's really dead. I, I was think I, th I thought he was just encased in that thing. Like if broken, he'll he'll be able to come back. But I don't think that's what's going to happen anymore. Oh God. Well, you did this before as well. You tried to get in his head. Like, are you stupid? You think the same thing will work again? Yo, what is she doing here? Go back home. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, thank God. Oh. Wow, that's a cool shot. Oh. Damn, they're fighting on a rotating beam or whatever. Oh. <laughs> Yo. I don't think that'll work. There's too many of them. Oh my god. Okay. Can he breathe fire? I think that'll take them out all at once. Time's up. Yeah, so he she was planning on like, you know, um like riling up Zoro and Leon so that they do the job for her and Gum doesn't have to Oh wait Wait what happened to Octavia where is she? Ah too many of them like what the hell I don't know, I feel like there's still something like like I feel like Herman is going to somehow somehow going to come out or something. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, there she is. I'm like, where is she? Oh my god. Oh! Whoa! Dude! Yeah. Damn, this episode is reminding me of Evangelion so much, especially. All right. We went to the watchdog center. No. 
Oh no, never mind. Oh. Like he is a defense Makai Knight of Defense. So oh my god, yo stop okay. Oh Oh no 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 Oh my god what is Okay, ah. Oh. Is, is that the threads that he she used? Oh no, 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 no. It's Oh, he she's self destructing. Okay. I don't think she cares. No, no, I feel like she knew that's going to happen. Like, I think Mendoza himself was pretty clear about that. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Ah. Ah. Damn this. Oh, he was able to stop it. No, oh, no, no. No, no, he wasn't. Oh, God, what the hell? No, no, he was able to stop it. Okay. Whoa. Okay. My God. Oh, that's... That's, yeah, that's Hermans, isn't it?
My god. Ah. Oh boy. This ah, uh, everyone's just That's where it's going to end. Yep. Okay. Well, um So yeah, he uh, Leon needs to stop the anima now. I don't know what's going to happen to the others, but we'll see. Now I don't know, I feel like um it's still something that it's not a role that Herman has left to play because the way he was he was killed it still feels really incom incomplete for me because I was expecting you know like an ending scene where we see where if something happens to him you know like I thought like we were going to see that but they just killed him off off camera so I feel like there's still something left for Herman like maybe in the next episode somehow he will I don't know like somehow interfere with the anima because he's part of the anima now so it won't surprise me if he actually interferes on just something and maybe that's going to help Leon get the extra help that he is lacking and he'll be able to defeat the anima or something like that uh, so you know like because he was killed off camera I feel like that's going to happen because it still feels kind of incomplete the way Herman died. Like it's it's really weird. But okay, so this episode, um, we begin with Jimena, think like you know, like and the, all the other villagers kind of panicking, seeing the huge castle just floating on top, ready to crush them. And uh, Himena was like, you know, moving towards the place where stuff are happening. While on the other side, um, Octavia comes up and uh, Mendoza is getting ready for everything. So, okay, now the battle begins. Octavia, Octavia, like, you know, reveals herself. Uh, Alfonso is surprised, obviously, because he did uh, you know like sus suspect her before but i think that when he saw that that scene where she tricked us tricked them by making it seem as if the other girl lara is the horror or something and i feel like that's when the suspicion yeah went away and we even saw later on where i i, I think uh, uh, alfonso went and uh, was talking with her like yeah like at that moment Alf alfonso's suspicion on her went completely away so realizing now that it was her all along it's like a ah like it's a really bad feeling you know because like i'm pretty sure she like you know he you know from when he was born he has been seeing Octavia. i don't know how long he has been octavia has been working for the king uh, but I'm pretty sure uh, Alfonso has been seeing her from his childhood. So, like, you know, the first time he suspected her, in itself, she, he didn't want to think about it because he, he thought, like, uh, Octavia was one of the most loyal people who took care of the father and everything. So, like, you know, all the times when he came to suspecting her, uh, he, he didn't want to. And after realizing and being tricked to think that he sh octavia is innocent it probably like you know a weight probably went off him it was like thank god she's not the one and then again now realizing that that in itself was also a trick it's like a it's like a what can i say like a double punch back to back like you know like like he realizes that she was the one and then he also realizes that she is also the one who tricked him to think that she's not the one. So it's like getting punched two times back to back. 
and it, it was painful obviously like you know as i said that i'm pretty sure she he has been seeing her from his childhood like so yeah like that trust that betrayal and yeah so like pretty much like this this really like you know made me like you know made me realize like octavia's problem here is that she has she went completely i can't call crazy but she went completely delusional after that whole uh thing in the village that happened from when his she started hating god like she went so delusional that like you know like there, there's no reason like and we can see like the way she kind of worships mendoza and uh, the reason for that that you know like no one helped them out and that's why you know like her worshiping mendoza because mendoza showed him her kindness or whatever like that whole thing and then like you know like her doing stuff and blaming it on everything like like everything's like the makai knight's fault that in itself is like also shows how delusional she became completely and i feel like this is like a, this was like a mental problem she had after like you know losing her sister she probably went completely crazy and mendoza took advantage of that he was like oh good thing you know like if i'm able to make her be loyal to me if i'm able to make her feel like oh i'm going to make a world where everything will be perfect you know she she she's going to do whatever i say and you know like she, she's going to be loyal and mendoza just used that and uh, yeah like this, this is a messed up situation like just taking advantage of someone's ah uh, someone's what can i say mental weakness yeah weakness or you know like someone's delu like, you know, problem he took advantage of that and used it for him so okay now here we get to know a new thing about the armor that uh not a new thing but something about the armor that he she's wearing maju armor i think that is what it's called and emma tells about how it actually consumes the life force or something she said okay what a rare item um where is that what does it say okay the maju armor feeds off the hatred of men so yeah and it, it's going to consume her and she knows that she very much knows that and emma is happy uh, not emma sorry um octavia is happy that yeah i'm finally being of use and uh, so yeah she's too far gone i feel like like you know hitting her with logic and making her realize that mendoza is a scum wouldn't actually help her out because or make her realize that oh like yeah i'm being manipulated because she's way far that she, she she's gone completely crazy and she doesn't even care like you know if someone tells her that oh mendoza used you throughout your life and it's just going to like you know leave you alone abandon you by the end of it she wouldn't care that's how far gone she is she would be like oh i'm glad about that you know like i'm actually coming into um like you know his help finally so yeah it's too far gone to actually hit her with logic and like you know <laughs> she's too far gone and okay so uh then we see alfonso actually taking her and like just coming out and emma like going out as well because obviously leon needs to concentrate on finding uh herman and like you know defeating mendoza so if he gets stopped here with octavia that'll be a problem so that's why alfonso took her out and emma came outside and like you know closed the door and in the end emma told him, leon that you should not lose your mind that's one thing that you should not do like be yourself up until the end and don't like you know give in to anger which she probably realized that mendoza is again going to do the same thing that she did before all right uh then the whole thing separates uh leon uh goes towards mendoza while uh alfonso and emma fights octavia and uh, emma uh, shows octavia like you know like the thing that he she nabbed from mendoza's room that thing which i think makes the illusion or whatever in that place and traps her in that and they start fighting over there while leon tries to find her dad but unfortunately mendoza like you know like he meets mendoza and mendoza shows him 
that his dad is part of that crystal that soul crystal or whatever it's called and uh, this is what i think you know as i said like you know the way we see him die here is very unusual herman was like one of the main characters and a death like that actually makes me think that maybe in the next episode i don't know he, he we might see him again he probably will not be alive anymore maybe we'll get to see like you know hear his last words or something but i feel like that's going to what's going to happen in the next episode because killing one of the main characters off camera i've never seen an anime do that never like you know like i i don't think so this is going to happen so next episode we we might get we we might get him back i'm not so completely sure but there's like a 90% chance of that not happening. He, he's probably not going to come back. He's probably going to die, uh, Herman. Uh, but what we might get is like his last words or something, which I feel like that's going to happen. And I don't know, like, you know, the whole thing about, uh, you know, like the anima like, you know, being born and like, you know, him being part of that feels like he's going to somehow interfere some way or the other with the anima, which is going to help uh, Leon bring down the anima but we'll see about that <clears throat> okay now mendoza up to his no tricks again he starts uh, oh no before that uh, like you know they're fighting uh, octavia and uh, himena is trying to go to that place like oh my god like thank god those villagers were like yo like come and help us out otherwise he she would have run there and she would have died i think like always like, like things are like you know just the, the direction where she was going was the place where everything was happening so thank god there's someone who stopped her and was like you should help us out like you know evacuation and she actually went back thankfully hopefully nothing happens to her and okay so and then we see mendoza again again as i said up to no good just trash talking and just saying oh like your dad was waiting for you you didn't come early i pity you uh you you can't even move now blah 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 just keeps doing the same crap that he did before as well and uh, he thinks that that will work this time but obviously like you know like this is not how it goes you should, like you know this this is one thing that he has already used before so obviously it's not going to work on leon anymore and uh leon i'm pretty sure leon was ready ready for anything happening to him or his dad or his friends and that's why like you know with that determination he was able to step in here so he like you know he knew like something might happen to any of them and he was ready to face that that's the determination that he came here with so again doing the same thing mendoza just you know trying to rile him up by bringing up his father's death is not something that's going to work again because he was pretty sure herman was also pretty sure that casualty might happen i might be alive might not be alive so you know like they both of them are ready for it and that's why you know i feel like in the next previous episode kind of really like went let us go through like so many things about herman where we get to know how herman talks about how you know like we will never die if if i die someone's going to take my place be the protector again and you know that's what's going to happen so we are going to continue living on but we should never stop doing our duty that thing and that's that's basically the reason why in the previous episode we saw all of that and leon came to a realization so yeah it won't work so he's like yeah is that all you have to say and mendoza is like ah it won't work well that's a shame <clears throat> okay i was impressed by the fighting against octavia where they were using those <laughs> those beams or whatever you call them they're fighting on top of that <laughs> and emma was using that as like some kind of like you know like a projectile or something <laughs> using the strings that was impressive all right now a lot of the um makai uh, uh not makai sorry horrors come up mendoza brings them back again and leon has to fight them leon uh, wears the armor wears the makai armor and starts mowing down all of them little by little while garn is like all right like I thought uh, Zoro would be able to handle this, but unfortunately, 
it didn't work out that well and so i was kind of correct i guess you could say like she was actually probably relying on what zoro and garo is going to do because as she said like she probably like you know had this type of a, like you know a plan she probably th thought that all right what i'm going to do is what I'm, I'm going to let in zoro come in in this plan and she he obviously he was he will definitely going to try to save the people and try to take out mendoza before that if that works well then it's all well and good we won't have to activate the castle or whatever you know and destroy the horrors so uh, that's that's what garm was planning but in case they failed in case they failed garm was would actually like you know like if, if they're unable to stop the anima or stop mendoza before anima is resurrected garm would then go to the next part of the plan which is using that thing the castle thing and destroying the whole place so that was like her plan most probably so that's why she's like all right the first step of the plan failed uh zoro wasn't able to do anything and the anima is going to be resurrected so that's why she was like all right let you know let the castle fall and let the whole place be destroyed okay now garo in the end we see like just just when the anima was resurrected he was able to kill mendoza but unfortunately as mendoza said it was too late anima has been resurrected and uh, the castle is coming down so alfonso's like all right take me there tells emma take me there and uh, Emma uses the little thing that thing that she used her gadget to, to make him I think teleport him or something to that place and I was pretty sure this was what was going to happen because his his like you know Makai armor is related to defense and yeah like definitely he's going to defend the whole place so he and Gaia tries to like you know shield the whole thing while Octavia and emma starts fighting oh my god emma was able to kind of stop her but octavia used her leg gun or whatever you call it shoot her now i don't know i i'm still not sure if that's fatal but you know like a little after that as well they were kind of he was she was kind of talking to octavia but blood loss in itself was kind of happening so i don't know i feel like we we need uh like, you know like she needs medical attention she might be saved but she needs medical attention as soon as possible so all right and just before like you know uh, octavia was able going to deal the finishing blow octavia herself started disintegrating you know like the thing is kind of uh attacking her from the inside it's like you know the the armor the maju armor i think that was what it was called while alfonso was shielding the whole thing and here Octavia says something. Octavia is like, like, yeah, like, look who you are, like, you know, working for. And these people can easily destroy a whole town just to, like, you know, like, destroy the horrors. So, like, which I am guessing probably reminded her of her own situation, where you know, like, nobody helped them out. So, like what can i say you know like i don't think you can blame the watchdog center here that much like the, what they're doing here is definitely wrong that's definitely wrong but their whole motto is uh like you know like a few for many like you know, a few sacrifices to uh, protect many of them which in itself is something that is definitely wrong like you know sacrificing a few people is also not something that should be condoned but what else can I even say, you know, like, like, you know, like a lot of people are going to be saved. Like, this is a very tough topic, as I said before as well, like, yeah, like sacrificing a few to, dis uh, like, you know, to save a lot, many, like the most idealistic situation is no one dies, which I feel a lot of, like, you know, not only anime, but a lot of, like, you know, yeah, most of the things kind of do go in that direction, which is kind of idealistic, you can say. But at the same time, it's what can I say? It, it, it's 
it's kind of most of the time it's, it doesn't work that well like this is not realistic it's idealistic the thing that oh i'm going to save everyone so you know like and i feel like you know trying to reach that ideal in itself is a very tough job most of the time it fails but yeah like hope, hopefully like you know leon alfonso they're able to reach that ideal reach that idealistic situation and gamma is also probably hoping for them to reach that idealistic situation but now that she sees that yeah everything's going down the drain the plan is just over she she had to switch on to the more realistic path of just destroying the whole place to save the world and uh yeah so like that's that's basically it but we'll see i'm sure leon will be able to do something we'll see about that now alfonso is able to stop the thing from coming down he's able to defend that and garm is like oh my god like yeah this plan is also over you guys clean up the mess i don't care anymore and garm just just lies down while uh, emma is able to like you know defeat octavia uh, octavia himself herself disintegrates and the little like thing inside her I think tries to run away but uh, emma stops it and kills it and alfonso falls down uh emma also falls down and yeah things are kind of very serious over there while mendoza is still talking about how oh you guys helped me you know revive the ultimate horror thank you so much this that just blabbering away and yeah, the anima wakes up and uh, Leon is able to find the, his, his dad's sword over there on like you know, lodged in into it and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in the next episode. So, okay, so that was episode number 23. Let's start with the final episode of Garo Holono Cooking, episode number 24. So, all right, just a sec. Okay, so I'll be putting in subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's start. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go! Oh, it starts with the opening song, alright? All right. Just what? Just a light. Oh my God! What the hell? Oh, what? The hell is happening? Oh. Look at him. Look at him. All right.
Yeah, he's going to try to get it. All right, we'll see. Ah. Whoa, what the? What is that? Oh, he's going to try to consume him. Yeah, that was his plan from the beginning, but... Oh, wow. Oh, damn. The DNA. Oh, from the fetus. All right, she's still alive. So is Alphonse. Oh, wow, look at that. So it was successful. His plan is successful, that means. But one thing is good, like, that he's kind of. Sm oh, wow. Oh my god. Oh, look at him. Oh my god. What is this? I don't think that'll work. Yeah. Okay, so how do we defeat this guy? Ah. Okay. <laughs> God, look at that. Oh, use it as a. S oh, this is going to come back. Oh. Oh no. Uh. Okay. Old fools. So he's just been salty for up until now. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I the way he's Oh my god, yo, let him transform, what the hell? Please let him transform. Like, that's like the not unwritten rule, you, you need to give it <laughs>
Oh god, great. He's not letting him transform. What the hell? Ah! Oh my god! Yo. <laughs> Just... Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what? There you go. I, I knew it. Like, Herman must be. Okay, what's happening? Oh! Oh, okay, okay. Wait, so can he dual wield it? Oh. Oh my god, yo, I, I don't think this has ever happened before, has it? He's, he's using two armors at the same time. Oh, look at that. So he, he's using both of them at the same time, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, that's a really cool design. Ooh. Oh God. Oh! Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, but he's going to regenerate. Oh. Gate is closing. I feel like you need to seal this guy somehow. Like, otherwise he's just going to regenerate. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's... So, he's going to... No, I think he's planning to kill you here. No! Oh my god! You s Okay! Nice. Uh, <coughs> well, he's going to start panicking now. He'll be like, okay.
Oh! Wait, that... That made him feel pain. Why? Oh, okay. It's Emma, isn't it? Yeah. Uh Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, what's happening? Whoa, whoa! What the? Oh, is this a mother's? Yeah, I think so. It, it's her mother, the, the flame where her mom. Wow. Yeah, oh god. Like he's regenerating and again like an oh my god so he she was inside the armor That's what it was. Yeah. Wow. So then... The shadow that we saw in one of the previous episodes, what, was that the same thing? And the one which was trying to consume him? Oh, the, the horse. Nah, that's probably, uh, that's probably a hallucination or something. Something like that, yeah, it's probably the residual. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh my god. Okay, so... And he's out. There you go. Oh! Okay, okay. Well, there you go. He's 
सील्ड Oh, well. Okay, so yeah, reconstruction. Oh, is <laughs> is that armor that they're still using? Ah. Uh. I hope he, he he's probably getting well, yeah, little by little. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Yo. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is the, the village where Laura, I think. No. Yeah. <sighs> oh, it's Emma. <clears> hmm. <laughs> eh. <laughs> 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 Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's him and I. Oh, yeah, because, um, told him. Wait, is she? Oh. Wait, Jiruba's here. Oh. Oh, so she's pregnant. Okay. Eh. <laughs> She's quiet. Hmm. Wait, so Himena is Leo's mom now? <laughs> if you think about it like that, then that's what happened. Uh. Hmm. All right, that's where it ends, I guess. So Mendoza sealed. All right, that's the end. Okay, so I'm guessing as Mendoza said, like if even if Mendoza is unable to come back anymore because of uh, like you know, uh, Leon's mother Anna. Mm, there will, obviously there will be like you know in the future as well a horse will come maybe someone else like mendoza is going to come 
and this is going to continue but just like how evil is going to be continuing people who are going to protect us are also going to be born again and you know like it's going to get passed on from one person to another so yeah <clears throat> okay that's the end there you go all right so that was the final episode of garo now okay this episode starts with anima consuming just everyone you know like just little by little just consuming everyone and we see that it can be you know like uh, you know attacked and it can be wounded so <laughs> mendoza was waiting for this as mendoza talks about how like you know no living creature can uh, you know like live forever like he, he even mocks the whole concept of leaving your descendants he's like oh what's going to happen if you die before that and uh, like you know stuff like that he just keeps saying and he's like oh like this is perfect and uh, i will be the first person who will become immortal this and that blah 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 and he yeah he actually now <laughs> i still had a little bit of a what do you say what can i say like uh and i thought that maybe he'll try to consume the thing and it's going to backfire you know, like the anima is going to somehow overpower him and kill him or something like that is going to happen but unfortunately it seems like mendoza is a very um like you know, a person who is very like you know calculative and he probably knew what he was doing <laughs> so he was able to actually overpower and consume that huge thing get it inside himself and get a completely new immortal body so his plan was fulfilled it came true so i honestly i was not expecting him getting a body like that like i don't know who he reminded me of um this his style his his character design reminded me of someone else i don't know who it is but anyways um yeah he <coughs> He became this immortal like you know thing and okay so leon tries to defeat it cannot kill mendoza heads cut off nothing happens it attaches, it attaches it back it to, to itself so like you know i was thinking like how can you defeat this type of a person you cannot that's the thing so for these type of people there's something that a lot of animals do is steal them so I, I, I had my, like, you know, like I knew that something like that is going to happen. They're going to somehow seal him and do something like that. And yeah, in the end, that's what ends up happening. So, okay, so they try to kill him. He, he just reattaches his head and, like, you know, Garo tries to attack it, like, you know, deal damage and nothing happens. There's like weird portals coming and like, you know, the punches were coming from different directions now i <laughs> i found the fact very funny that he actually was not letting leon transform like oh my god i feel like <laughs> this is one thing that anime does and it's like an unwritten rule in anime that you should always let someone transform you know like <laughs> whenever someone's transforming for like one or two minutes continuously like you know like i don't know like doing the transformation sequence you know no one should <laughs> no one should actually interfere in that moment so i 
I found it really funny that as soon as he was trying to like you know like transform he was just hitting him all the time he was not letting him transform at all and you know like it was kind of pissing me off by the end of it i'm like dude just just let him transform like if he's unable to transform how can he even fight you <laughs> but this is i feel like this is the most realistic thing that i've ever seen especially in anime transformation sequences because <laughs> all the enemies they like transform for the past two to three minutes and the enemies just keep quiet sit down and i don't know have a little tea break and just wait for him to get transformed and then they resume their fight but mendoza's like no i'm not doing that I'm, I'm going to i'm going to hit him before he's able to transform i'm not even going to let him transform <laughs> oh that was I, that, that was funny <laughs> oh god but yeah mm, now like here's like here's the thing like Mendoza's whole like you know thing about what can I say like his his thought process and everything he he talks about immortality and stuff and uh, you know like he finds it comical that we humans actually like you know leave descendants or whatever and we actually want them to carry on our legacy this and that which has a lot of flaws you know as just like he said like if you die before leaving legacy uh, like you know your descendant uh, like you know it's going to be over and uh, you know like he, he kind of mocks that whole thing and uh, it's funny that up until now this is what has been actually going on like makai knights dying you know and them leaving their armor for to someone else who inherits their position and these continues and that is how we actually like you know keep the horrors at bay you know like uh, just like mendoza said like you know even if you see me now someday i'm going to come out again like some fool is going to open that gate again and i'm going to come out from there so yeah but he, well that's what leon says like you know even if that happens you know there will be someone in my place in that moment and that person is going to stop you so like you know like so we don't die you know in that manner we, we we just pass on our legacy to someone else and then that person is the one who is going to uh protect that and like you know protect the people in our stead so like and after that as well like you know what happens where we get to see like emma and alfonso them going and finding out the the weapon of um herman and throwing it to leon and like you know we see how even after death you could say he assisted leon and was and like you know and, and helped him like you know bring mendoza into the makai uh, realm this shows how that is true you know like herman is dead but he still assisted him and uh, you know like it kind of continued so since humans don't have the power of immortality but we have this you know this this whole thing of you know like you know unseeable bonds you know like like the things like you know the, the bonds that we cannot see but it still connects us something like that you could say um <clears throat> okay so yeah that's what happens you know we get the uh weapon uh herman's weapon and you know uh, emma throws it towards um leon not emma sorry um Alphonse throws it towards Leon and oh boy like <laughs> after getting it he was finally able to transform <laughs> and he transformed into a more uh what can I say like like uh, like uh, in like in a completely different way like he had like one part of it had like uh, I don't know what that was like it was like a fusion of the two armors or something and I think like nobody did this before did they like you know wielding two Makai armor at the same time I don't know this is probably the first time and oh boy his character design like in you know, the armor's character design was so cool after that now i do wonder will he be able to use this in the future as well you know like this form i'm, I'm guessing we're going to get to see that in the movie or something um but yeah he he gets the new form the new makai armor and he starts fighting and he's easily able to dodge mendoza's punches now and but obviously mendoza is unkillable 
So he is, he's like, ah, oh, like, you know, like, even if you are strong, it wouldn't like, you know, matter because I am unkillable. So what he plans to do here, uh, Leon, is something that I, I thought that he was going to do is seal him. That's the only viable option I could see. And, you know, like, like if someone is unkillable, just seal him. <laughs> so he, he comes up with a plan to go to the Makai realm and just seal him over there, like not let him come out. Uh, at first, Mendoza was like, oh, like, you're trying to do that, but, you know, like, he was very confident. He was like, yeah, I'll be able to, like, you know, come back out easy. And the first thing he does is kind of disintegrates, goes, like, you know, to somewhere else and forms himself again and tries to get out. <laughs> Leon stops him again using the chains. And, you know, like, then again, he tries the same thing. And Leon again stops him and just, just, you know, pins him down to one of the rocks and he's not letting him go. And Mendoza, at this moment, Mendoza was probably realizing that, yeah, he is probably in a pinch here. So that's when I guess he, he says like, oh, like, even if you're doing this, even if I'm sealed, I'm going to come out sooner or later. Someone's going to open it. And that's where he comes up with, like, you know, like, um, Leon says that, <clears throat> oh, like you... Like, you know, even if I am not there, someone else will be there. While Emma and Alfonso is, like, you know, trying to keep the gate open so that Leon is somehow able to come out. And Mendoza's like, ah, look at your friends. They're trying to do that. They don't, like, you know, want you to die here. And <laughs> as soon as Leon said that, all right, then I'm just going to cut it off. You know, cut the, the, the thing off so that it, like, you know, closes. I feel like that's when Mendoza realized, like, yeah, I probably am, won't be able to get out of here soon enough. So that's when it, he realized that at, at first he was very confident. He was like, all right, I'm going to disintegrate, just go outside. But when everything fails, he actually realizes that, yeah, I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably going to be trapped here for a while now. But, oh boy, like the thing that happens after that is the most, like, I was not expecting that, truly. Um the flames start burning and it consumes him and that's when the realization hits for mendoza like he, he he realizes that it's actually anna he realizes that yeah like actually i'm going to be stuck here my by myself leon is going to go away and i feel like that that was like the perfect like you know the, yeah like I, I wanted to see him despair more but unfortunately like you know he was busy getting disintegrated and regenerating so i wasn't able to see that despair filled face but yeah his screams were more than enough to <laughs> compensate that so now i was just saying this you know in the previous after the previous video ended i knew that they were somehow able to go are going to bring herman back because we still didn't let, get to see like, listen to his last words and a main character killing him like you know, off camera like that is something that I doubt any anime will do. So I'm sure they were somehow going to be able to like you know, will bring him back. And we're going to like even if he is not alive anymore, we are most probably going to get to listen to his final words. And that's what happens in the end. So uh, Anna, she like you know we get to see her form. And uh, Leon gets to see uh, the little flashback of her death, where uh, Anna told Herman that uh, you, like, you know, teach him how to fight, I'll protect him with my flames. And, uh, <clears throat> and that was the markings. Now, I also thought up until now, those were the markings of hatred or something, his revenge or something, which Leon is also thought the same thing. But it's interesting to see that was actually not some kind of revenge. Uh, because, like, you know, it, it was like her mother's sim like, you know, symbols or something like that that was actually protecting him. So I do wonder what was that then? Like you know, in that scene where he actually was able to fight and win against his hatred. You know, there was like this weird silhouette that comes up, tries to consume him. Like like you know, we saw that happen after like you know the markings kind of fill his body and that happened. So was that also like part of this? Or was that genuinely his hatred, like you know, in, like you know, taking a form? Let me know. Like, yeah, like I don't know. Like it, it f seemed pretty evil that thing, you know, in that episode where where Leon was able to win against it and was able to leave behind his hatred. 
So I don't think that's that was something related to her mo his mother. And we did see the signs in his body, the tattoos that coming up, but that was probably not it. And uh, uh, like you know, her mom was probably just inside him, waiting for like you know a, a time, the correct time to actually do something for him when he'll be in real danger. And this was the perfect timing for that. She comes out. And we have a little, like, you know, see, like, them kind of talking a little bit. And uh, her mom says, like, you go, like, you have a lot of other people to protect. While, um, yeah, while, when they were going away, Herman, horse, comes out. Which helps Leon, like, you know, go away quickly, like, you know, leave that place quickly. And when he was looking back, you know, Herman's, like, a little after... Uh, image or whatever you call it i don't know like his soul or whatever that comes up and this is what i was saying like i knew somehow or the other we are going to hear his last words and he tells them to leon he he says like don't look behind you know look forward and keep protecting people and he also says like oh like please go and visit himena as well <laughs> and uh, yeah they come out gate gets sealed now as i said like you know mendoza I don't know what's going to happen to him. Maybe in the future he's also going to come back again, as he said. But there will probably be someone else waiting for him outside to stop him. <laughs> Just like Leon said. Alright, so everything is peaceful after that. Uh, they're reconstructing the kingdom. We see the big robot that we saw before. Not robot, but the, the thing, armor thing as well. Uh, we see Alfonso working for... You know, working for the people. Uh, Leon is also there. We see Leon sitting uh, in the that chamomile, I think, yeah, chamomile field, uh, in front, uh, beside Lara's grave. Uh, Emma comes and uh, Emma says like, "Oh, I'm going back to my hometown." <laughs> Leon says, like, "I won't be able to go." <laughs> and Emma's like, "What does that mean?" <laughs> oh boy. And. Uh, yeah they say goodbye i feel like, like she, she's probably in the future she'll go she is going to come back or maybe leon will go searching for her i don't know but you know when he says like become a good man that doesn't seem like a goodbye you know like the way he said she said that so yeah maybe they'll meet again in the future we'll see and i don't even know like if, if the uh, movie has her like if you're going to see her in the movie we'll see about that like I, I do plan on watching the movie as i said like you know let me know if you want me to react to it uh, if i don't react to it you know like then i'll probably watch it on my own but let me know in the comments and uh, yeah so that was that uh leon comes uh back to himena's place and okay now here's the surprise i was not expecting uh, so himena has a baby he's going to have a baby and uh, ziruba is with her which i was honestly i was very surprised i was not expecting that um and she's actually talking again so i guess she's talking because as she said like you know she plans to like you know um for the baby to like, you know, inherit the armor or something I think that's what he says. She says, where is it? Okay. I shall be silent until the birth of the one who inherits Zora. Wait. Just a sec. Wait, oh, okay, uh, okay. So she, nah, I, I was kind of confused about something else. All right, never mind. Uh, okay, so she says that I'll be silent until the birth of the one who will inherit Zoro, which obviously is, she's talking about the baby. And he is like, oh, then it's a, it, it's a boy. <laughs> Jirba just keeps quiet. And so now, I don't know, like, I, you know, it, it, it does kind of hint that it's a boy, but I don't know. I feel like she, the way Jiruba kind of said that is kind of weird. She says that I will keep quiet until the person who is able to inherit Zoro comes. So if, if that's a boy, she would just directly say that, 
oh i'm going to wait until the baby is born or something like that like you know like and the baby inherits zoro something like that she would say why did he say, say it like this so i don't know like i i i i, I feel like maybe she what she meant by it she, she meant that oh i'll be keep quiet i'll, I'll keep quiet unless and until uh, you know like obviously like in makai nights only any males can become makai nights so you do need a male you know for them to inherit the like you know uh, inherit zoro so who knows like you know maybe i'm thinking too much but the way she said that was kind of weird like she, she could have just said that yeah I'll, I'll wait for the baby to be born and then she'll and uh, he'll inherit the, uh, the the zoro but she said it in a very weird <laughs> in a complicated way but i don't know we'll see and uh himna's like yeah nothing will change the fact uh like you know like he, he, he is like uh what's the name uh herman's baby and yeah and leon is also like yeah i'm going to keep protecting everyone unless and until someone else comes who is able to you know inherit my power or something like that she says so okay now uh, that was where it ends now i i i do you know i think the the movie is actually a sequel to this isn't it so yeah as i said in the beginning of the uh, episode if you want me to react to let uh, it let me know i'll react to it next week and then i'll start another anime uh and if not then i'll watch it on my own so let me know and uh, yeah so that's it now okay so <laughs> one thing i realized in the end so i guess you could say himana mm, became <laughs> it's kind of like what can i say like leon's mother you could say you can't like that's what it kind of turns out to be isn't it like obviously like they were not married but still like if you think of it in that way uh so <laughs> <laughs> they kind of say I, I feel like Himena is kind of same age as Leon or may, maybe a little older but <laughs> yeah it's kind of interesting and uh, so and that is actually Leon's brother um half brother you could say yeah the brother or sister like we still don't know if it's a male or a female so okay now I doubt we're going to see that kid because this is the end <laughs> and uh, i don't know if the movie is going to show them if the movie is going to have a time skip or not but that's like you know for the movie i'll, I'll wait for that uh like you know and uh, yeah we'll see what happens in the movie but yeah that was it a fantastic end to this um you know like to this show it's sad that uh like you know lee uh, herman is not alive anymore and uh, i i kind of knew that that's what they were going to do as soon as in that episode they started talking about death and everything i knew that this is what was going to happen and there you go but yeah nothing you can do about it and ermin seemed a lot chill <laughs> even after death it's like <laughs> the way he was saying everything so yeah and uh, that's it so uh thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to the final two episodes of uh, garo hono no kokuin so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say and anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and as i said you know if i if you want me to react to the movie let me know in the comment section as well i'll do it next week so yeah and uh, so yeah thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day